Today we are looking at the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi Pro XT12 and as you can see at the top it says AX11000 High Performance Tri-Band Mesh Wi-Fi 6 System Coverage 6000 square feet or 560 meters I have the twin pack here, you can also get a single one and as this is part of ASUS AI Mesh, you can use any other router that supports AI Mesh to set up a mesh system. So here in the UK, we are subscribed to one gig down and 52 up. I have tried other mesh systems. They didn't really work. If you are the person that sorts the internet out, you know how difficult your life becomes. As soon as the Wi-Fi is down, somehow it's your fault. So for the sake of my well-being, I just bought two of these, hoping they will sort my issue out. I also have a little helper today, hoping that will keep him occupied while I sort the internet out. If you want to pick this up or know more about it, click the first link in the description box below. If you use a mesh system, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Before we start, if you find this video helpful, a like would be appreciated. And please do subscribe to watch more reviews. So we have some information here. This is good for six plus rooms. Wi-Fi system, AI mesh, as I mentioned. This does have AI protection, lifetime free security. However, that's Trend Micro that offers the security. So you will have to share your data with them. Instant Guard, two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports, sports Windows 11, IPv6 sport. You do get three is guarantee and it's letting us know here that it is also compatible with Mac as well. Then we have some information at the back. So there are two ways to use this as a mesh system. You could use wireless backhaul, which is what I'm going to do. The other way is ethernet backhaul. So you use an ethernet cable from the primary router to the node. That way you won't lose any speed at all. Wi-Fi 6 tri-band 4x4, 11,000 Mbps, 2.1 times faster. Wi-Fi 5 tri-band 4x4. 5,300 Mbps. Some more information here. App setup instructions. So there are two ways to set this up. You could either use the app, which is what I'm going to do. We need to download the ASUS router, or you could also set this up with the web browser. They're both the same. So it's not like one of them is a cut down version. They're both exactly the same. Yeah. Let's leave these on the side for now. They're like twins. <laughs> they're like twins here, yeah, they are like twins. Power supply there. Because I'm in the UK, mine is a three pin plug. What else we get? That's all part of the power supply. Open this side. What's in here? Open it, come. We get an Ethernet cable. Okay, let's see what's under here. So we've got some paperwork. VIP member warranty notice. Quick start guide. This quick start guide is letting us know how to set the AI mesh up. The first setup they have to be within three meters. And once they set up, you could move the node to wherever you need it. Here they are, the Zen Wi-Fi Pro XT12. They're both exactly the same, so we'll just have a look at one. At the back, we have the power port, on off button here, reset button, WPS button, 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, 2.5 gigabit one port. This is where you would get an RJ45 cable. One would go in here one end and the other end will go into your modem. Two one gigabit ethernet ports. Some branding there. It does have good airflow, this. That's what that looks like. At the top, that will light up. We have eight antennas that we could see, and there are two internal antennas as well. We Let, take take that off from that side. Can you see on that side? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. On there, just peel it off. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, let's make a start setting this up. So I'm using Virgin Media. The uh, router is also a modem. So I need to put that into modem mode first. Then this will take over and will start acting as a router. You will need a modem. The reason I'm saying that is because sometimes people ask, will we need a modem? Yes, you will. These are just Wi-Fi routers. You will need a modem. The other thing to mention, I'm on one gig. I won't get any higher speeds than that. So whatever you are subscribed to, if you're subscribed to 500, you will get 500. So I have an ethernet cable connected from the modem to the back of this uh, router. I have already downloaded the app. That's the Asus app. It says here yeah, account login, but you do not need to create an account. Then you select which model you have. Mine is Zen Wi-Fi. Click on that. Okay, it needs permission. Allow Asus router to access it while using up. I have turned my Bluetooth on. You do need to have your Bluetooth on. So it says here, enable camera and scan, or you could manually add the Wi-Fi. So I'll do enable camera to scan only while using up. So I need to scan the QR code at the bottom of the router. I'll quickly scan that. There it is. Yep. It's asking me, saying do I want to connect? Yep. Connect your device. Okay, connect. Connect. Connection successful. So if I just show you the top, the lights are blue. Once they're blue, that means they're ready to configure. If there is a special requirement, no, I don't have a special requirement. I need to create a SSID and password. So here where it says here, separate bands. So you can separate them. So you'll have one 2.4 and then two 5 gigahertz. One 5 gigahertz will be a dedicated wireless backhaul in my situation. As I mentioned, I'm not going to use the ethernet cable. If you are going to use Ethernet backhaul, which you will get best performance, then you could use all three bands, but I can only use two. I'll quickly do this part off camera. I need to set up a login account. That's for when I log into the router. And I would strongly recommend create this. Don't leave it to default. Okay, now it's saying setting up your network. I'll come back once it's completed this step. So that it says network optimization. So it says the, the node is joining the network now. The one on the right is the main one, the left one is the node. And as these are part of the AI mesh, I could add another one if I, if I need another node. It doesn't have to be these, I could just buy one of the routers and connect that. It will create a mesh system. That one's blinking. I'll just show you that it's blinking. This says here, the LED on your node will blink blue for a few minutes. My network is back on. If you have a look, on there, the uh, Wi-Fi is back on. So it's just waiting for the node to connect now. And then there might be an update. So if there's an update, the Wi-Fi will go back off. So at this point, whenever you are setting a network, it's best to get your children to read a book. Otherwise, is it done yet? Is it done yet? This is good connection. Your Zen Wi-Fi Pro X. T12 router has been set up. Adding a node can expand your Wi-Fi coverage. Okay, so it says enable remote connection. Enable remote connection will modify the following settings. Okay. I guess you'll have to agree to this. We are open running, but the node is not connected yet. It's still flashing. It's letting me know there are three devices connected. There is a firmware update. We have been using this system for six weeks. As you can see in the app, it's showing that a green line. That green line represents a strong connection between the main router and the node. The node connected within five minutes. There was a firmware update. I updated the firmware. Speaking of firmware update, there has been two further firmware updates within the six weeks we have been using the system. Before updating the firmware, I always take a picture of the current firmware. The reason for that, if I have any issues with the new firmware, I could go to the manufacturer's website and download the previous firmware. 
Let's have a quick look at the app. If you want to have a look at the web interface, I'll leave a link in the description box below and in the iCard for the ASUS AX82U video. I cover the web interface in that. So as you can see, we are fully up and running. So at the top is letting us know the IP address, which is 192.168.50.1. That's for the main router and 192.168.50.2. That's for the node. The app has a lot of features. I'm not going to cover all of them in this video. As does the web interface. You do get a lot of features compared to other manufacturers. A bit too many, really, if I'm being honest. I don't even use half of them. So if I click on this thing at the top here, that's a quick way to turn on quality of service, which I don't bother with. But if you do want to, you have the option here. So you have gaming, media streaming. They've also added work from home and learn from home as well now. At the bottom where it says www, if I click on that, it's giving us real time traffic. If I swipe, swipe again. So the second 5 gigahertz network is a dedicated wireless backhaul. CPU and RAM. Back to the middle. And the Wi-Fi one, that's the same. The one next to that, I'm not going to click on that because of course we've got information on that, but that's letting us know there are 12 devices connected. It's actually 10 and then two, it's counting the main router and the node as well in the app. But if I were looking at this in the web interface, it would only show me 10. Insight. It's security insight. So it's blocked 18 hits on my network. Family, parental controls. So you could do from not to six years or all the way up to 18 plus years old. Then we have settings. Quick internet setup, I've done that. AI mesh. So if you want to add another node, and as I mentioned before, it doesn't have to be the Zen Wi-Fi. It could be any other ASUS router that supports AI mesh. AI protection. So here I'm going to run a scan just to show you something. It's going to bring it back as low. I'll, I'll tell you the reason for that. So here, if I click on this, it's saying change default password and username. As I mentioned before, it's really important to change that. I have changed the password, but the default name admin, I've left it as admin. That's why it's bringing that up. So I have no concerns there. UPMP service. It's letting us know what that does. So I've left this on because my kids, they play on the Xbox and PlayStation. So I've left that on. However, I'm not, I'm not only relying on AI protection. I also have my own antivirus protection as well. That's no concern for me again. Web access from LAN. That needs to be on to access the router from the app. If you turn that off, you will only be able to use the computer. So I've left that on again. No concern for me there, and the rest, they're all okay. Wireless security, so wireless password strength and stuff. That's So Instant Guard, I don't have that installed. That's another app. That's for if you want to use a VPN, which I don't use. Diagnostics. Traffic statistics. Wi-Fi, LAN, one VPN, which I don't use. You can also control this router with Alexa and Google Assistant router information. Firmware upgrade. So if you click on that, it let you know if you need to update the firmware. System settings notifications. Network tools. We have that as well. And other related apps within the ASUS ecosystem. So the app and the web interface does have a lot of information, a lot more than I'm ever going to use. I just want to get it, set it and forget it, that's all. And that is the best compliment you can ever give to a router. The second node I have upstairs, and one of my kids said to me today, oh, we forgot about that. I said I need to finish the review for the router. I said, oh, we forgot about the node. And I said, that's the best compliment you could ever give because you just want to have the router sat there doing its thing that's it. So we have had solid connection, as I expected, no dropouts. We had family over. I asked everyone to connect to the Wi-Fi, go full out, gaming, streaming, web browsing. The kids looked at me and said, normally you tell us, don't spend too much time on internet. 
I said, yeah, and today I'm telling you, go for it. Act as if you don't like each other. This was peak time. I'm happy to report it did not slow down. Neither did the router or node get hot. The router did get slightly warm. Looking at the CPU usage, it was fine. The router and the node do have fans built in. They did not get overly loud. So if you have this in your bedroom, it shouldn't be an issue for you. When I was moving around, the phone connected from router to node without any issues. The only way I could tell I moved over from the router to the node, the Wi-Fi bar would drop just one. But I'd carry on um, doing my stuff on my phone. So if I were watching something, I'd be, I, I would carry on watching. It wouldn't drop the connection. Or if I was web browsing, I would carry on web browsing. I have tried other systems in the past. And when I'd move around, the Wi-Fi would drop a lot. And sometimes it would even lose connection. The range is really good on this. I took a Wi-Fi 5 phone and a Wi-Fi 6 phone. I went right to the top of my street. They both were still connected. The Wi-Fi 5 phone dropped, but the Wi-Fi 6 phone went further, which was expected. If I just bring my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, this phone supports Wi-Fi 6E, and these routers are only Wi-Fi 6. So I'll do a speed test, and this is peak time now. If I click on that, if I go to results, so as you could see here, there are loads of different results here because I've been really testing the system. I have had over one gig on Wi-Fi. The router is in the hallway. I'm in the next room. And here where it says on the 24th at five o'clock peak time, I, I managed 208 and 50 up. That's because I did a reset on the router and I immediately ran a speed test. I wanted to see if it does go down. Then I toggled the Wi-Fi off and on again. I ran a speed test again, and that's when I hit over one gig. You could see both of these two top ones were done on the 24th, and within one minute of each other, the speed tests were taken. So I hit over one gig on Wi-Fi, which is really good. And then on the 21st, at three o'clock in the morning, I hit over one gig again. Seven o'clock in the morning on the 20th, I hit 800. So you can see all of these are really good. So I'm really happy with these speeds. Overall, we are really happy with the system. I know it's expensive and we have tried other mesh systems and even routers as well. But in this case, you get what you pay for. My search is over. I have a lot of peace and quiet now. My children love me a lot more because I have finally fixed the Wi-Fi. I hope this video was useful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.